Hello, I'm Sumi Das. With me is Josh Lowenson, staff writer for CNET. This is your first day of freedom probably in the last month or so. Josh has been covering the Apple versus Samsung trial, and of course we just had a verdict on Friday. What's the fallout so far? Well, so far, uh, Samsung owes Apple about a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, um, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's better than 2.5. Yeah, right? exactly. It's, it's a far cry from how much Apple wanted. Uh, but it's also kind of up in the air about when they have to pay that. Okay. There's still a lot of things that are still up in the air and moving around. So uh, we don't have a definitive date on that yet. And, and it seems to me that the prevailing wisdom says that they're not going to end up having to pay that one billion plus that in the appeal process perhaps the damages will be cut down? Correct. Uh, a lot of those things are, are still kind of flowing and uh, Samsung still has an opportunity to change some of those products to really keep them from infringing. Mm -hmm. And Samsung is going to appeal, right? Definitely. Yeah, they've already said they're going to appeal. They uh, just haven't filed it yet. Correct. And, and that again, that's still a process that's going to happen in the next few weeks. In the um, immediate, uh, the, the immediate effects of this on Samsung, um, how's, how's their stock doing? Uh, their stock took a tumble this morning, a pretty big tumble at 7%. Um, but again, I mean, the big deal about this trial is the really long-term effects and mm -hmm. how they have to change their products and if they change their products. But Apple, their stock kind of went up, didn't it? Yeah, they're nearing an all-time high. But a lot of that is actually just kind of uh, people expecting a new phone and right. a new tablet in the coming weeks. Of course, yeah. It's hard to separate those two. Yeah things out. All right, so you were in the courtroom. There were no cameras allowed in there. So tell us what the mood was like, because you can only tell so much from a courtroom sketch. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it was uh, just quiet expectation. Uh, obviously, it had been kind of a rowdy courtroom the last few few days. With people it got kind of, rowdy? It did get a little rowdy. People were just kind of getting tired of this long three-week, four-week trial. Mm -hmm. uh, so by the time the, the verdict was announced, it was basically pins and needles. And the reactions that you saw from the lawyers, um, uh, both defense side and plaintiff side? I mean, it was really interesting because for Samsung losing uh, pretty epically, in fact, uh, the lawyers didn't seem to look all that concerned. It was kind of surprising. Hmm. Uh, Apple was clearly uh, kind of excited about it, but both sides were getting paid either way, so I don't right. think there was a lot of care. And, and the billion dollars is not coming from the pockets of those lawyers. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Now, 2014, this all happens all over again. I mean, different set of patents, but kind of a similar situation, right? Tell us about that. Right. So there's this other case that's not really going to trial for another two years, and that's, that's about some of the newer devices. So you have things like the, the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this mm -hmm. is a device that's still on sale, whereas uh, some of the devices that were in this trial that just wrapped up were kind of old. They're from 2010, early 2011. And you'll be covering that one? Yeah. <laughs> and looking forward to say. it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being our eyes and ears in the courtroom. We couldn't have covered the case without you. My pleasure. Josh Lowenson, staff writer for CNET, and I'm Sumi Das. Thanks for watching Inside Scoop. Mm -hmm.